what's up everybody this is Gunter Severlo today I'm going to show you how to create tasks for an area trigger let's go to the editor then to stratus and let's go to the 2d map and go to this location we're going to put down some soldiers and an ammo cache and put them inside this building so first thing we need to do is put down a player, which will be a grenadier, and there's nothing we need to do for him. Next, we're gonna go to the independent faction, and we're gonna go to FIA, and then to men, and we're gonna put down four soldiers. So we're gonna put down an officer, a rifleman, a grenadier, and an auto rifleman. Then we're going to go to props and then type in ammo. And we're going to grab the FIA ammo cache. Put that down. Now with these, we don't have to name the soldiers, but we will have to name the ammo cache. And the ammo cache will name cache. Okay? That's all we got to do with that. Now what you're going to do is draw a box around these so that these are all highlighted. And we're going to move them inside the building. And then we're going to move inside the building ourselves. Just gonna place these guys in individual spots. We're gonna raise them up so they're on the floor. All right, let's place the officer over here. And then we have a soldier. Place the soldier over here for now. And our grenadier we'll put right here and we'll have him face here then our machine gunner or auto rifleman going to place over here and have him face in this direction next we're going to take our ammo cache and move it down to the end here And then we're going to go make an adjustment with our rifleman here. Face this direction. Then that's it for the placement. Alright, so we go to the 2D map. We're going to go to F5 for systems. And from there we're going to go to Intel. And then create task. I'm going to put down a task module. Double click it. And our owner is going to be blue four because that is the player that the faction is on. Task ID, parent ID, don't need to worry about. For this task, the title will be what your objective is. So basically, we're going to clear a building. So clear the building. And then the description for that uh, objective or task is enemy if I soldiers are occupying the building and need to be eliminated so it's cheesy but whatever it does what it's supposed to do is this is just a demo so all right, going down to marker, you don't need to worry about that. Destination, uh, you could use that if you want. I usually just don't use it. And then the state for this will be created, which is what we want. So you can leave that. Task type will be kill. And we want it to be killed because we're killing soldiers. And we'll hit OK. Next, we want to put down another 
module for tasks and that'll be t set task state. Take this guy, place him here and we're going to double click this and we're going to make the state be succeeded. Just press OK for that and that's all you have to do. Next you're going to sync that to the create task and all you do is you right click and you'll see the line come off your cursor and just click on the create task module. Next we're going to go to triggers which will be F3 and choose a trigger that doesn't have any size and you're going to sync this trigger to the set task state module. Next this trigger is going to encompass the building itself so we're going to set the size of the trigger to 12 which is the width and 20 which is the length and our rectangle. On activation it's going to be independent and activation type it's going to be not present. So when you go in the building and you kill the FIA, FIA which is the independent faction then it'll fire off this trigger because they won't be present. For a condition you could leave that alone and on activation you're gonna put C1 units dead space equals space true and then a semicolon. Now at the very top is going to be the name of the trigger and we're gonna name this C1. C1 I look at it in terms of a compound. So C is, stands for compound, one is just one compound. So that's basically what you need to do so far. Just press OK. And now we'll take our trigger here and set it up so that it encompasses the whole area of the, uh, the building. All right, so that's it for that part. Next and last is we need another trigger, no size. Just place it on the map, double click it, and on the condition, the condition is going to be C1 units dead and space and and space and a bracket and then not and a bracket. I'm going to type in alive and then the name of the cache. And then a bracket and then another bracket. Then on activation we're going to put two brackets then a space call and a space bis underscore FNC underscore and mission and then semicolon. What this does is this trigger will check to see if all the units in the building under C1 are dead and then it's going to check to see if the cache is still alive or not destroyed and if both are dead and destroyed then the mission will end. So here's the catch here. Even if you killed all the units in the building only this will fire. If you didn't destroy the cache then the mission won't end. Only the task for all the units will go off and that's it. So let's I'll show you how this goes. So press OK. We're gonna go to attributes and then do general and then go down to where it says independent independence allegiance and you want to make this where independents are not allied with blue four because you're blue four and we're considering them as the enemy so you want them to be able to fight each other if not they won't attack you when you walk into the building so press ok for that and that's fine like that next we're just gonna save this go to Stratus and name this create 
task area demo demo spelled that wrong demo and save so let's test this out and let's go to the go to the map and you can see that our task with its icon that we chose shows up in the list and here was our description enemy fi soldiers are occupying the building which i misspelled and need to be eliminated what's going to happen is i'm going to go in this building i'm going to kill all the soldiers and then i'm going to destroy the cache once i do that the mission will end let's check it out So once I kill this officer, the task will go off, but it won't end the mission. So you can see the task went off, but it won't end the mission until I destroy the cache. So you can see now that the mission, after I destroy the cache, the mission has ended completed. If you wanted the cache as a task by itself, then here's what you could do. Copy this, and then press Control C, and then press V. And then just open the task, and change the information here. So this will be, uh, the title of the task will be Destroy the Cache, and then into the description enemy fi soldiers using an ammo cache to supply them okay it and destroy it okay for the icon you could go to use destroy and press ok for that uh, set task state, that's what you want to succeed it, so you don't have nothing to do there. And what you're going to need is a trigger with no size. So place that up here. And then you're going to sync this to the set task state, which is this guy. And then double click on the trigger under condition. Put alive. And then cache. And that's all you got to do for that. What's going to happen now is you'll clear the building. The task for the building, to, you know, once you clear the building, will be clear with this. And then once you destroy the cache, you'll not only get a notice for the cache itself, but then the mission will end. And we've already got that all set up here. So let's save that and test it out. All right, so let's go to the map again and you should see the next task that shows up and that'll be destroy the cache so let's go test this out and see how this works this time I'm gonna throw a grenade in here That killed the uh, auto rifleman. So they cleared the building. Yep, clear the building. It's one task. We're just gonna shoot this. And you got the cache completed. And now the mission ends too. Alright, guys, this concludes the tutorial. I hope you learned something from this. Thanks for watching. Bye.